But the way that I did this presentation is all of these links are hot links. So when it's posted on the district website, all you got to do is click on the link and it'll take you, for instance, to the Rotary International YouTube page. And I'll show you a little bit later some videos I made simply by copying the videos off of, downloading the videos off of Rot Rotary International, and then going in and further editing myself, and then dropping pictures in of people in our club and music, and uh, um, that's how I did that video that you guys saw at lunch today. Um, And so I will go back to the Rotary Club of Con Concord page, YouTube page in a minute, but all of these links will go to pages on YouTube that will show you how to set up a YouTube page. All right? If you already have a YouTube page, you already have one. And within YouTube, you can set up multiple channels. Like I have three channels in my own one U YouTube account, one of which is the Concord uh, page. And one thing about using YouTube, this has been, well, actually, uh, Ms. Rose and Carol, she was talking about this, you know, inter YouTube optimizes the video that you put up so that if you look at it on your, on your phone, it's right. If you look at it on a tablet, it's right. If it's, you look at it on a PC, it's right. Besides the fact that it's free, that's another reason to use it. And, uh, and none of the, I'm not, I'm not going to go into social media marketing stuff, but any of these companies that do this stuff, they're not doing it because they like you. They're doing it because they make money from it, all right? And YouTube makes money from doing this, um, for having, they monetize things on the site, and uh, so, but whatever. They, the good news is, is that all the stuff on there is free. It's very sophisticated, and Google bought them for a reason. If you look at the amount of money that they spent to buy this company, they bought them for a reason. And the other thing, that first slide, did anybody ever own AOL stock? <laughs> all right? So, Verizon spent $4 billion to buy AOL. And just Google that. Why did Verizon spend $4 billion to buy AOL? And the reason they bought AOL for $4 billion is because they have a really good video advertising capability. And uh, television's going away, print media's going away, all this stuff about social media marketing is for real, and other things. I mean, people are buying stuff off the internet now. And, uh, you know, the, the, the results by being able to sell something or communicate an idea using video are so much, people are visually oriented, they're visual learners, and uh, um, well, so whatever, just <laughs> trust me, it's true. Um, and by the way, I'm in the computer business, but I sell computers to very strange people that do only military accounts, and I've been military applications. So I've been in the computer business for 38 years, but before I started my own business, I ran corporate marketing communications, PR, and business development for a computer company in Westford. In my last year, I had a $2.3 million budget just to generate sales leads. And the thing I spent most of my money on was database marketing. And, uh, and essentially, that's where all this stuff plays in together which is identifying an audience. Nobody really talked about it. Somebody listed on that sheet was a, somebody for Constant Contact. But if you go to Constant Contact, a lot of their whole pitch is, is that all of this social media marketing stuff's cool, but it's really pay to play, all right? If you really want to control who sees your message, you've got to pay for it, all right? And the only way you can really control who sees your message is to get their email address, because then you have their email address. Facebook and all these other things, especially, if, I mean, I know more about Facebook, and trust me, I'm not an expert in any of this stuff, but they choose who to show your post to. People think you put a post up there and everybody sees it. Well, that's not the case. But if you have people's email address, that's a different story. You can go right out to them. And, and like back in the 80s, when I was doing this stuff for a living, the internet didn't exist. So we did direct mail. Direct mail was the, the equivalent of um, doing database marketing, which you can do now. We did it via, what, what Constant Contact now does through the computer, we did that database marketing stuff using direct mail. That's the old way people used to do it. But we, I had one person on my staff that did absolutely nothing but analyzed the conversion rate from the places where we um, advertised to what turned into actual sales. 
And uh, so I've been sold on the concept of database. And I started my own company 23 years ago, and I've worked on 100% commission for 23 years. And uh, the way I've been able to do that is by essentially using database marketing stuff that I learned how to do back before the internet evolved. The last slide in this presentation is posted online are links that have a lot of information. And these are places where you can find videos. There's a lot of content that Rotary International has already created that you don't have to create any videos. You can just link to it. You can post the link uh, on your social media marketing stuff and it will go right away to a, high, a very well done professional video. And you don't have to do anything except know where they are and when to use them and link them into your stuff. All right? so, um, so if you're interested in this stuff, I would, I would encourage you to sort of like go through it. It's posted online. Click on the individual things, and, and you can find out how to do that. When you said posted online, where is it posted online? Uh, Laura, put it, it's on a district website. Right. This is for one the of the president. There's some that were posted in the past onto right onto the website itself. Mm -hmm. we, we it's on Club Runner. Mm -hmm. And going forward we decided Club Runner is too much of a pain in the neck, so we went to YouTube because it's much easier to use. So I set this stuff up so you wouldn't have to go looking for this stuff. If you just go to this presentation that's on the district website, all you gotta do is find it, and then you can click on all the links. All right? This is the YouTube channel that I have set up for our Rotary Club. And I've been learning how to do all this stuff, so um, I have stuff posted in a bunch of different places. But, but this is this is the Rotary Club channel, and I specifically put multiple different kinds of videos on here. Now, one of the things I was supposed to be talking about was how to create these on your phone. Right? If you have an iPhone 5S or, or a 6, you can do one of these things on your phone. And uh, if you also have an Apple computer, it's easier to do it on your computer, but it's the exact same thing. And this is a trailer program. This is the one you mentioned. Well, actually, there's two of them. This is the one I did as an ad for this event. And then I did one, I did another one. Well, you can look at it. This mu music's really catchy. This is an Apple trailer program, all right? And all you gotta do is drop pictures and video into it and then type over the text that they have. If I got time, I'll go back to one of these links to show you how to do this. But all that video that you see and pictures, I did on this phone, all right? No, and as a matter of fact, in, in video 201, you can take that trailer into an editor and detach the soundtrack from it. So you can use that same music and put all your own pictures and video in it. But, but the purpose of, I mean, one thing I wanted to try and get across is even coming to a thing like this, you know, one of the issues you have trying to learn how to do this, if you go to people who are, it's, they're experts at it, they'll go way over your head and teach you 90 things you don't really need to know. And it took me a long time to, to figure what's the simplest way to do this. And the absolute simplest way is using the trailer programs that, are, that are, come for free in iMovie if you have an Apple computer or a, uh, a 5S phone forward. And I did put a link in there for Android. So if you've got Samsung phones and all that kind of stuff, you can do all the same stuff on Samsung, I'm sure, but that's not what I use. I mean, I've swallowed the Kool-Aid on Apple stuff because it's all very cleverly linked together. So it's very easy to go from your phone to the video to the blah, 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 blah. And uh, so 
So the link on how to do that is on the uh, website. It's on these things here. Yeah, there's one. Uh, I'll go back to that in a minute. I just want to show you some of the different types. Yeah. Right, this is a video I did by... <laughs> so the music, and there's an underlying video, there's a video, like that's in the original video, but those are pictures of people in our club. So I just downloaded the video from, from Rotary site, dropped my own pictures on top of it, and in some places you'll see I typed in text, like there. Those are our people doing an actual project that we did. When I see a need. And it, like the music's very, and you could steal that soundtrack too if you want to use it for something else, which I've done more than one video using this, because if you listen to the words to it, you know. It, to understand. So let's so see. Where on the rotary.org website is are these videos that you're taking? Well, let's see if I can navigate this screwy thing. Never mind. So you mean we're on the, on the district side? No, I, he said they were on rotary.org. Yeah, they are. I'm trying oh, to get right, back right, to. Uh, right. Hold on a second. So you see this, see this link here? Yes. Right there. When in doubt, ask Laura Spears, by the way. She's excellent. <laughs> And she's very helpful, but this link will take you. Uh, wait a minute. Maybe I've got a. Here, hold on. Hold on. Oops. I might not have gone wrong. Okay, so if you get this downloaded from the uh, district website, the presentations, you click on that link in the presentation, and it'll take you. This is the Rotary International oh, site. And you were able to take these yeah, you can download them. I mean, you just go to that uh, um, uh, stuff. Hey, oh, wrong button. Yeah, it's the same one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, um, it's to kind of governs, right? Uh, there are a lot of people. Well, you produce that, that one, and you want to follow it. No. I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. I'm, uh, be quiet, woman. It's so much more than I originally thought it was. It wasn't just okay, this thing won't stop. You should stop. <laughs> there you go. Now you stop. All right. So I want to point out something else about this. Besides the fact they're all on here, if you have a, well, I'm the next president coming in, so one of the things they make you do in that pets thing is to go set up your Rotary account thing. Or if you go to like, to the district site, the publicity site, Laura's got links in there how to get to the Rotary media site. And uh, all this stuff is on the Rotary, Rotary media site. It takes a little bit to navigate and whatever, but this page goes right to some of these videos. And uh, they're all downloadable, you know, and, uh, and so when you go to the thing where you download these and you click download, it automatically downloads into your download file on your computer. And then you have that video and you can go in and monkey around with it. Now, now that's not the same as on a phone. Like I said, if you want to do something really, really simple, the trailer programs, if you have an Apple computer or an Apple 6S phone forward, the trailer programs are the absolute easiest thing to use because it's all drag and drop. You just got to take the pictures. That, that one, that first one I showed you of that event we did, and you saw people cross country skiing, and then you saw pictures. All I did was go the weekend before we did our event and take pictures of people doing stuff. And then you can drag them into that trailer program. And then you just have the, it has a storyboard. I mean, if anybody knows about storyboarding stuff. It has a storyboard board with the words that come in the trailer, and you just type over top of them. Right, and it makes the thing automatically. And, uh, you know, something, well, I don't think anybody talked about it. Another thing that's good about these, you see how short they are? If you want to use stuff for social media marketing or to sell somebody something, it's got to be short. 
because the first thing somebody's going to look at is that. You know, this is one, you know, if, if that says six, eight, ten minutes, you know, people just go, screw that and go on to the next thing. And so the rotary stuff that you don't have to do anything to, I mean, you can link right to that. You don't even have to download it. You can link to that and put it in your Facebook post and it'll go right to that and it'll pull up the thumbnail. And the thing about their site is, is they've got long ones and they got these real little short ones. And if you're using video for marketing, what you want to try and do is have a real little short one to entice people to look at the long one. Okay, so say you pick a short one. Yeah. And you want to drop load pictures into it. Does it automatically shorten each picture to fit in that? No, you have to be in the editor to do that. So if you want to put stuff over top of this, you have to use iMovie. You have to use a video editor program. Uh -huh. And they almost all use the same construct. You know, if you use Final Cut Pro or the, the cheaper versions of that, or if you use the Adobe software, and I think all the people like Apple and everybody else, they're all using the same construct. So to make it easy, like, the timelines at the bottom, you know, they show you in a window over here what's going on, and over there is where you put your pictures and whatever. So once you learn how to do one, it's fairly easy to learn how to do somebody else's. And I think I said to Laura, too, like if people are really interested in this, I would do like a couple hour workshop because I can't like show you how to do this in 20 really minutes. Interested. And I'm really interested. All right, so if people are really interested, I'd be glad to do that because. I didn't know whether to tell you this or not. It took me two or three years to learn how to do this stuff because. I'm this isn't an overnight. Well, well so, so let me tell you why, though. I mean, first of all, the only thing I'm an expert at, it, and even that I'm not an expert at, is fishing, right? And, uh, um, but I, I kept telling myself, I'm going to learn this in the off fishing season. And every time I went to, I'm on the border, Concord Carlisle TV, which is a public TV station, which, by the way, I, I didn't show it. But I did a, a video for upcoming Pops concert. Mm -hmm. it, it started running on uh, TV three days ago, and it'll run up to the morning of the event, which is next Friday. All right? and, uh, but I went in there like three or four years ago and said, teach me how to do this stuff. And the problem with people in those TV stations, and most people in general that know how to do this stuff, is they're all going to teach you how to be Steven Spielberg. You know, <laughs> You don't want to learn how to be Steven Spielberg. You want to take the shortest path, the easiest thing to learn how to do, so that you can make one of these things. And that's why it took me a long time to figure it out. I finally paid Apple 600 bucks. They have a, I'm in their business program, and if you pay them, you can go into their store and get trained, not by the people on the floor, but by people that are in their business unit that actually know what they're doing. And, uh, that was a final thing. I, I spent 600 bucks because I've been screwing around for so long trying to get people who knew how to do this to show me how to do it. I wasn't getting anywhere until I paid Apple because I told them, I said, this is exactly what I want to learn how to do. And I typed it up and sent it to them first. And they tailored a course to show me how to do it. Right? So, um, Just out of curiosity, have you heard of Layer, L-A-Y-A-R? No, but. Well, everybody knows what a QR code is. You, you put your, you download the app and you put it over the, layer, the, the um, QR thing and you come to a website. With Layer, you put it over an app, and Action Unlimited is just starting to experiment with it, and you put it over the app and it goes directly to a video, a video starts playing. It's really fun. Yes, yeah, sp speak, sp speak it. You, you download the Layer app. Okay. And then you hold your, you, you open the app and you hold your phone over the ad, and it'll, you'll see it kind of wiggle like, yeah. and immediately a video comes up, and you watch a, a video, and we shortened it so that we agree with you that it needs to be short. We have uh, two ads running in the paper right now as an experiment, and we're going to um, have a launch late April, early May when we get it. Well, so let me, let, me, let me give you another tip relative to this stuff is that in general, well, even Carol herself, when I was showing her the polio video, I, show, I, I also did one on polio. But people that are in the, the 
the print business and in the newspaper business and stuff like that, especially the smaller regional newspapers, they don't know how to do this stuff, but, but they know they ought to be doing it. So I've been doing these for uh, the same thing that I haven't looked yet, but it's probably up there by now. I sent it into Wicked Local, like the same guys that put out the newspaper in Concord, the Concord Journal, they also have an on, online footprint. And the thing is, if you send them a video and they put it up, it goes to all the Wicked Local sites. So I videotaped one of our speakers one time who happened to be the curator of the, the I know him, he's a friend of mine, the former curator of the uh, um, Kennedy Library. And I knew he was a really good speaker and that's why I videotaped that one. And I sent it to the Concord Journal and it went, it went out on every one of the uh, Wicked Local sites. How do you send it to us? What? We have a website called Lots of Good News and we have those kind of things on there. You have to send it to us. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, so something else, well, now I don't want to get into this, but, uh, you know, what, I'll tell you another thing I learned about doing the videos, kind of like, don't do what I did, go create a video. What you, first, what you really ought to do is figure out how am I going to use this video? Like that, that first thing that you went through that's a printout where it talks about, you know, figure out what you want to do basically first. Um, and uh, so I'm not sure why I thought about that, but, but this link here, if, uh, hey, mouse, come back here. So, uh, the other way. Uh, okay, so these links are live too. And uh, you know, one thing I discovered along the way too, is if you're taking stuff into Google, you know, one of these problems with all this stuff that's free is because it really isn't free. You know, that first page that comes up, half the people, most of the time, are paid ads, right? I found that if you really want to find out how to do something, go to YouTube and type it into YouTube. And uh, um, so, speaking of which, if this is one of uh, many videos running on. Uh, I happen to like this particular one. All right, so this guy is going to show you how to do uh, a. So this is buffering now because I'm trying to get further into the video. I don't know why this doesn't trailer. stop when so I click on it. Shut up! My wife and I are pregnant. And uh, you can see here I've added some video, I've added some some images as well as some uh, Ken Burns. You see here, this is where I was videos. trying to... But let me show you from the beginning how to do this. So what you're going to want to do... This is a trailer. The he took the pictures first. He took the video. New trailer. Click on new trailer. And then once you do that, you're going to be... You know, have There's a bunch of different, different ones you can options, use. Depending on what version of iMovie that you have will depend on which options you receive. So we have the Blockbuster. We can go here. We can actually play that and see what it looks like. So there you go. You can preview all of these by clicking on the So that's why I said I couldn't show you how to do this in 20 minutes, but if you just watch this video, if you have an iPhone, it's pretty self-explanatory. But you pick one of these templates. They're different. They're not all the same. they got different music in them. Uh, some of them are longer than others. Some of them are shorter than others. But, but I know a few of them that have been really good for rotary things. So if you, my email address is in that thing that got handed out. And then once you do that, you title it whatever you want to title it, and then go to OK. Once we've done that, it'll load all the See, if this thing was nice and would stop for me. Here. We have the outline, OK? This tells you basically. This is where you just type in over top of the thing. So that trailer, that trailer I showed you with people skiing and stuff that had words specific to our Rotary Club, all I did was there's several things you click. You just type over top of it. Like and you just drag the pictures the into the a most important thing. This is where I think the, other the shot list uh, got it a little wrong on but YouTube. So if you want to know a little bit more, so go to our web, the uh, district website where all this stuff's at, so and get that PowerPoint presentation of mine, and just 
click on some of these things. And when you're working on your own computer, now, I don't know why this isn't doing it, but um, like a full body shot or, or a shot of somebody, you, you know, a person. Phone? And then on a close up, you want to do a close up of this. Somebody. Yeah, this. That's you're going to want to put multiple people in that shot. That's why I'm. Someone, okay? Oh, that's me telling me my time's up. But uh, that's why I'm showing you that because I'm going to add this little button here. Okay. 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 Okay.
have the same thing. problem most local cable does, which is it's on three different channels mm -hmm. depending on what your cable provider is in the area, uh -huh. and they don't know who's watching. So what they're doing is they're reposting on their website cuts for the entire show right. to get live streaming so they can see what in the world is going on. So they basically are shifting to a social media model to understand what their viewership wants. Right, so now that's very helpful because we have an interview for Rotary on one of the shows. They actually clip it out and post it as a separate animal and then they have to let us know and then we can cross post it instantly. So they've done all the work. We got the person in there to be interviewed and we get the benefit of it and you know we're a member of that, that people channel cooperative, whatever you want to call it. So they're hoping that we actually shoot more and give them footage or get people in. And we're hoping they clip it out so we can leverage it. But they have a big, they have the same problem any TV station well, does, which is who's watching what when. Well, I think yeah. they're beginning to realize that this is the new TV set. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know about, they're probably similar, but the one in Concord has a video on demand server. So the stuff that's on TV when it's on TV that you can't find on your channel because you don't know where the heck it's at, once it's up there, it also has a link to it. So you can, they put it on their demand server so you can link to it in an email or from your website or whatever. So even if nobody ever watches it on TV, if it's on their server, you can, and that's really how they're whatever, is that the, the producers, the people who are producing video to go on those things tend to have their own little audiences. People who like dogs, people who like to fish, a minister, and they send the link out to people. That's how most people are watching it. And the, No, I know. To There's ditch two years ago, some fabulous thing. Right, right. So what you, what our cable station allows you to do is actually request it. So you, you could host it yourself somewhere. So can you right click on it? If I knew how to turn the sound down, I would. But yeah, this is this is something I did on Polio, and uh, I think everything in here. I downloaded from Rotary International, but then I cut up bits and pieces of it, like. Bill Gates' speech in this thing is very long, and I only took out the... Our foundation is redoubling our commitment to polio and to Rotary. Specifically, we'll make a new $255 million grant to Rotary, uh, bringing the total to $355 million. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. You notice it keeps flipping because he actually talked for like 10 minutes or something where people clapped all the way. This is another... Rotary International video where I just cut this section out of it and dropped it in right behind Bill Gates. It's not the same video, but if somebody's watching this, it'll give somebody a little bit of a sense about what Rotary's all about. Has Carl Good seen this? Excuse me? I can't hear you. Has Carl Good seen this? No, not yet. I mean, I sent, I sent it to Carol, but I... That's yet another video from Rotary International where I cut a section out of it and glued it in. If you have an inclination to do this stuff in your organization like Rotary or something, you know, it's, it's well, depends on where your head's at. It's kind of worth learning how to use it. But I tell you what, if you have a business and you're selling stuff, you know, just go uh, Google around a little bit and, you know, ask about statistics for conversion rates and all that stuff or go to a constant contact seminar. You know, um, anyway, I'm done.